Hello, Anson Griffin here again with his occasional MATLAB tutorial series. Today we'll be looking at JPEG compression and MyCBCR and anonymous functions. Now we're not doing any uh, bone length encoding or zigzagging. You can just see a little error up there. We have YCNCR, that should be YCBCR, but we'll leave it okay. So, we've um, uh, cleared all the workspace, etc. DCT, MTA, and matrix is the 8 by 8 uh, two dimensional matrix. We are defining some anonymous function handlers here. Okay, you should be aware of that from class. Uh, we've defined here the quantization table for luminance and the quantization table for chrominance, which again I think you should be familiar with. Uh, we've read in the car here, we're going to show it in a second. And again, because we're using 8 by 8 block process, we want the uh, image to be integer 8 wide and integer 8 high. If it wasn't, you'd have to pad with zeros to get the appropriate width and height, but it's much easier to go with integer 8. Uh, we're doing the scale factor here from the quality factor. I think that's fairly okay for you guys. Uh, we're using the MATLAB function. RGB to YCBCR. It's okay. Now, as we're going to downsample, we need some sort of smoothing filter, uh, and we're using uh, IM filter here. I could have used Convolve too, but it's it's the same thing. So, I hope you're aware of that. Now we're going to downsample this line here. So we're going to start at position two. Go in jumps to two, and we're going to go to the number of rows, and then do the same for the number of columns. And then on this line here, we're going to do the same for the chrominance plane, and we're going to leave the luminance plane alone. We set up the block process, the block process there for the three planes, and then we're going to implement them there. Okay, as you know from class, we do a a dot divide to do corresponding element by corresponding element. There's the original photo. There's the cropped photo. Now we want to reverse the process, so we define going out. So we're doing the dot multiply. That's okay there. Uh, we carry out the inverse DCT there in 8 by 8 blocks. We're going to upsample here. Yeah, so we can define an upsampling filter. And then we carry out the upsampling on the CB plane here, on that line there. Now the only problem you may run into here is that the upsample function is in the signal processing toolbox and it's not readily available if you don't have the single processing toolbox so that may be a problem so if that doesn't work uh, you can use im resize and uh, that would upsample in the same way or it should upsample in the same way so we've got the um, cb and the crs uh, upsampled we use the concatenate function get the three there sitting on top of each other it's cat here and then uh, when we can concatenate the tree, then we use the MATLAB inbuilt function YCBCR to RGB. And there is the reconstituted photo at the end. Okay, so hope that helps. Thanks for listening. Bye.